Good morning to our Quags community. I hope that you and your families are remaining healthy and that everyone is doing everything they can during this lockdown period. Please can I just ask that you only send your children into school if it is absolutely critical for you to complete your work as a key worker or if your child has been classed as vulnerable. We are very happy to have children in school and to support their learning, but we do need to balance that with the safety of all the community, particularly because government guidance is that we try to restrict as many community contacts as possible. So please, 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 if there's any way you can keep your child at home and balance the, your work and their learning, then please do so. If you cannot, then please make sure you do email the critical worker email address and then I can actually review your case and look to see if there's a place available for your child. To give everybody an idea, currently we have about 160 children in school out of 1,253. So we are getting pretty full, so there may be a delay in offering a place um, should you do need one. Also, with this in mind, we do have to report to the Department for Education the situation within Quags each day as to how many children are attending and that is also for staff. We have to report in what coronavirus is looking for our community and with that in mind, please can I ask, even if your child is at home, that you do let us know if your child is isolating for any reason. You need to do this by the report child absence email and you'll find there's a keeping, keep, keeping children safe message coming out later today with that address on. We'll need to know whether they're isolating because they have symptoms themselves, whether they're isolating due to travel, or whether they're isolating because of a family member. In the same way as when school was fully open, we also need to know if they've had a test for coronavirus and the results of that test, as we do need to report that information into the DfE every single day. Hopefully, now we are in lockdown, we will have a reduction in cases throughout the community, but if you can keep us informed, I'd be very appreciative. I've been really, really pleased in our first three days of opening how much the children have engaged with their remote learning, particularly in our primary school, where it's been absolutely brand new to a lot of our very youngest children. I've had lots of positive comments from our teachers, from our children and from parents. And in particular, I'd like to just highlight a few different year groups. So year one last week were particularly impressive, as Miss Harris and Miss Pearson say, in their mathematics, their English and their PSHE. Year two did some fantastic work from Miss Ryan on celebrations and New Year celebrations using fireworks and their purple mash work. Year four, Miss Pressure has commented that they did some absolutely excellent work engaging and have asked some fantastic questions in their live lessons. In year seven, Miss Perkins has been particularly impressed with both the English groups that she is covering and have asked some fantastic questions, really in depth and really thought thoughtful. Also in year seven, Mr Gould has been really impressed with his Spanish class. In year eight, uh, Miss Mariner created a whole year group class and over 80 pupils joined that and again really worked to try and support each other during this difficult period. Year 8 and Year 9 have asked some fantastic questions in history and Mr Lockwood's been really pleased with how they've engaged. In Year 10 we've had some fantastic work in chemistry and also we've had some fantastic work in French. For Year 11 again Dr Saunders says that the chemistry groups are really shining. And I'm particularly impressed with our sixth form, who are really engaged in all their lessons, their live lessons and Google Meets, and also with the work they're producing. Particularly, we've had comments from psychology, PE, Spanish, French, history, economics, physics, chemistry. The work you're producing at the moment is absolutely fantastic, and I'm really pleased with how you are engaging. Can I urge all parents and carers to make sure that this is the same for everybody's child? It's really, really important that they engage with their online learning and teachers are available during normal timetabled hours. So if there are any issues, please just encourage your children to email. Now obviously we do accept that some children will not be able to access the remote lessons or the online lessons at the time of the timetable. 
due to restrictions in the household of who's got the computer when, etc. So the lessons are recorded and your child should then watch them afterwards and catch up as soon as they can. Again, please encourage your children to email their form tutors and their teachers if they have any issues at all. If you do have any issues with um, computer access, we do have um, an email address that was sent to you in the letter last week where we do have a small amount of computers left in school now that we are able to allocate to our most disadvantaged families. So if you do have an issue, and it doesn't matter if your child's in reception or in year 13, it covers all children in school. If there are any issues with computer access, please send me an email and I'll make sure that we see if we can allocate you a device. Now this week there'll be more talk about examinations and I did send a message to Year 11 and Year 13 last week about what we think is going to be happening. Again, I just want to reassure Year 11 and Year 13 that even though there'll be discussions this week, there'll be no final decision. So whatever you hear in the news, whatever you hear with rumours and gossip, etc, please don't worry about it. As soon as anything is confirmed, I'll be the one that sends you a message to say this is what's happening, with as clear guidance as possible. Until then, the, all you need to do is engage in your learning. Because remember, the teacher assessed grades will take that into account. How much you are engaging, how much you're trying in your work. Finally, I'd just like to say to everybody, please obey the lockdown instruct instructions that we've been given. Because as soon as we um, are able to bring down the R rate within the area, we can look forward to welcoming everybody back into school. And I do believe that is the safest place for everybody long term to be back in school. I hope you have a restful week.